This episode brought to you by Smart Tailor by Daniel Collections. Welcome to Tiger TV. Well, today we're here at the launch of the new Blue Tree Water Park and Entertainment Precinct. It's in Churn Tulay, and when they use the word water park, you'll get certain images in your mind. But this is anything but your normal water park. We spoke to the new general manager, Michael Ayling. This is not a, just a water park. This is uh, an entertainment destination um, and position to, to cater for everyone in the family. And, uh, and, and actually, the component that evolved the latest uh, was, was, was when we signed up Crystal Lagoon. And, uh, and then we thought, well, we've got a great opportunity to do great water activities. So they around. do some of like the biggest lagoon water parks in the world? Most definitely. Yeah. Well, I think they've got the biggest one in Chile. And, uh, and I've seen three. So the one in Mahasamutra in, uh, in, in uh, Hua Hin, one in Bintan in, uh, in Indonesia. Um, but the, the, the really impressive one that I've seen is the one in Dubai, which is in the Maidan One, uh, which is they're, they're selling $30 million homes around that crystal lagoon. So it's, uh, we did a lot of research on them and to, to really understand the, you know, what, uh, uh, you know, what they could bring to the project. And uh, um, it's a great product. And, it's, uh, and actually, um, when you see them in real life, it's even better than uh, when you actually see it on the. Oh, I, I thought they were photoshopping them this time. So it's so uh, it's like an enormous lagoon, and then themed water park around it. Exactly. Okay. So so it's, it's it's themed water activities we call it, um, and it's not just a water park. It's interactive. We're, we're, we're different. Um, a water parks are very equipment heavy. Um, okay. Spend millions of dollars on a few slides. But for us, we're well. Slip and fly is just is is. Uh, uh, if a, it's a great spectator um, uh, attraction. Our cliff jumping from one meter to ten meters, um, and uh, I'll and let it, you do that one. <laughs> I'll do the one meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's about my standard too. <laughs> but it's uh, so, and it's, it's it's more interactive and more experiential. And uh, so, so Martin Cote, who we've uh, employed as the uh, uh, the general manager, has got water park experience, and he's got excellent club med experience as well. And that's probably a way of kind of be yeah, characterizing what we're going to be doing okay it's water park meets club med yeah and and just make it you know we will have shows and uh, um, yeah, interaction beach volleyball football and just keep everyone uh, active and entertained um, now, you're sort of positioning yourself as Phuket's next major uh, attraction yep. so you're up against the Siam Miramits and the uh, the fantasy um, and obviously you're going to have to get the tourist trade there. Well, and it's and, and um, it's good that you mentioned those. Both of those are in the evening. What is ah. there during the day? Okay. And for us, uh, we see our, um, uh, our, our, our destination as uh, 7 o'clock in the morning through to past midnight. Um, the dining destination, I mean, where is a, a dining destination? I've lived in Phuket 18 years, you've been six years, but we don't really have a, a dining destination where, where people are entertained by their dining. We've got big terraces around our, our restaurants. Again, focusing on, on, on the kids. And, and we don't just want one-time visits. So Simon Nuremit and, uh, um, and the Fantasy uh, or other water parks that come, you, you go there once. And, uh, but we're, we're going to be wanting the kids to be going, what are we, what are we doing tonight? We're going there. And, yeah. and, and multiple visits as well. So keep the kids happy, you keep the parents happy, and, uh, uh, but, uh, and, and, you know, and, and that's also part of our DNA as well, is that for the water park, um, well, if the kids just want to go and do it, and mum wants to go for a massage, or she wants to go shopping, dad wants to go and uh, watch the football with his, with his mates, can do, and they can still watch their kids uh, in, in, in the Crystal Lagoon or in the water park. So it's all about the, um, I mentioned it earlier, the sum of the parts being greater than the individual components. So we're not just a water park by any stretch. Now, this morning uh, during the launch, the Thai media were very interested in where you're getting your water from. So where are you getting the water from? So we're, we're talking to the local authorities, so we need to fill up once. Okay, and, uh, um, and so we're talking to Ch uh, Bangjo um, uh, uh, Dan. And, uh, which is in close proximity, um, and 
and so we fill up once it's 40,000 cubic meters which isn't that much um, it's not a terribly it's not a huge deep pool no it's it, it, yeah. it, 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 the, the deepest is 4.5 meters for the slip and fly and the cliff jumping but we have a very shallow beach area going through for uh, um, for the kids for the kids and then and, and, and there's m many markets that aren't great swimmers as well um, so it's a, to, to give them uh, uh, yeah, much more comfort and, and safety uh, from a safety perspective um, and uh, so the one-off source and then the source is treated um, and uh, um, it very cleverly treated one filter system um, and the only loss of water is through evaporation yeah so just topping it up it's just topping it up sure so, which we can do that through uh, um, uh, from, from deep water wells from this time of year the rain no will problem. be more than sufficient i was thinking uh, i mean we obviously have some lovely beaches but for six months of the year those beaches can be very unsafe yep. and a lot of those markets who do have problems with the beach and the surf uh, will have a, a much safer experience i think you were saying 80 lifeguards uh, 70 70 lifeguards for okay sure. no it's uh so Martin, one of the reasons we hired Martin, he's extremely uh, diligent in regard to safety. Yeah. And that's got, it's a big area. So, sure. So we've got to make sure that, uh, um, that we, we, we don't compromise safety one, one iota. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, um, so I can understand the concern of the local tires thinking, you know, okay, well, and it was my concern. When I first saw Crystal again going, how can they keep it so clean? Yeah. If it looks too good to be true, it is too good to be yeah, true. Sure. So we did a lot of due diligence. We uh, uh, we had a we paid a lot for a water expert out of uh, the US to, yeah. to basically go and test other crystal lagoons um, to, to basically because um, it's a big investment uh, to, to ensure that uh, it was as safe as they were saying. And who, it is. Who owns it? Uh, where does the money come from? It's uh, it's a joint venture between um, uh, uh, tyres and. Uh, um, uh, an international fund, um, both of which are keen to stay low profile. So, okay. so, 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 so I'm, I'm, I'm just thankful they've had the vision to do this, frankly. Yeah, well, it's a big investment. Yes. Just finally, it's called Blue Tree, yes. but your logo is orange. Yeah. I'm, Explain. It's uh, it'd been a bit corny if it was a blue tree. <laughs> so yeah, okay. It's kind of, and, and as far as logos are concerned, well, we had a marketing company, international marketing company, that worked with us on that. And, uh, so there's a lot of things we can do with this logo and the colors as well. So this, the, the color of the, um, of the logo will change with every different uh, okay. um, activity as okay. well. So, and if it was blue, then, uh, well, we couldn't use it for the lagoon. <laughs> so orange was a nice sunset uh, color. So it's, uh, yeah, I, I think it's, uh, and I like people to be talking about it. If people are talking about it, it's, that's a good marketing I just threat, did. right? <laughs> exactly. Michael, best wishes with it. Uh, it's opening up at the start of next year, yep, and we'll sort of have a progressive opening for the first six months of yeah. next year. Yep. So. All right, well, we look forward to hearing more about it. Uh, we'll probably come and get uh, a few sneak peeks in December Most sometime. Definitely. Most definitely. Happy to have you. Just come along and uh, I'll give you a tour. Just make sure the weather's not like this. <laughs> yeah, it'll be okay in December. <laughs> yep. Congratulations Thank on uh, being named the general manager, and uh, we look forward to the uh, great future success of, of Blue Tree. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thanks, Tim.